Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, this lovely knot. When you when you pull it all together, the tight result will look like this. Then you can make your very own bracelet or no, another craft project. Okay, let's make it, okay? Okay, before you start, we will need the pallet plier if you have one, uh, a pen, and uh, three needles or pins, and uh, a some cardboard, you can two or three fold it together, and later on you will, I you will see why we need them. I just use a um, piece of white paper to cover it up so you can clearly see the result. Okay, the coat I use, it's about 70 centimeter. The start point, if you fold it like, like this, like this, the start point, it's like that. If you leave the short side on the left, the longer side on the right, that's a start point. The reason for that is because the left side we hardly use it. The most most work will be the right side. Okay. Like that. Then you turn it round. The right side go over the left side make a loop then you find the needle or pin and push it down the reason for that because um, uh, when you do knotting can be really really confusing and uh, you often find your finger can't hold all of them to do the work then that's why we need um, the cardboard on the knees and some pin and once we secure the place, you um, likely no will not get wrong and confused. Okay, that's one stage. Next stage is like this. Then twist it on the knees. Okay, make another loop. Again, use a pin to hold it. The reason for that, you might find that your finger push it down. You don't have the uh, strength because it's so so thin. That's why you have bad pair of pliers. More likely, will push it through the cardboard and secure it. That's the result. Then the right loop go over the left loop like that, and get another pin. Press it down securely. Moment like that. Okay, what what we're going to do is lift it up about one centimeter higher, like that. You can see a pen able to go through on the knees. Okay, what's next stage on the right side? Go round it. Go round here. Next stage is bit bit confusion. Um, so the best way I show you is mark it. Mark it one, two, three. You can see one, two, three. What we're going to do next is up one. Go down two and up three. I hope I'm by market and uh, it's very clear you know what to do. Then pull it over. Okay, what's next stage is here. If we mark it four, then you use this code and go through as four. Up four. Okay, now what we're going to do is number five. Number five is here, very close to number one. 
not here okay you got four up then no going down to five okay go down five okay then what's next stage is pull out the pin and then turn it round you can actually see the result you can actually see the result of uh, this knot like that okay what's next is you you lift up the right left one and just mark it six seven okay the right side will go six the left side will go seven okay now you can see the very uh, lovely little knot it's on its shape now and yeah then you can spend a bit of time to um to uh, to to um pull it uh, tight um but if the shape look like that you are um got it right when it's um, pull it uh, all tight will be look like that then you can perform your own jaw craft either make a bracelet or another uh, project um, if you find this video it's very clear and uh, you find it really helpful to do this knot do please like it if you have any question you can leave a comment and um, myself is um, have about more than 10 years of handmade craft experience i will make sure i update my video regularly do please subscribe it thank you very much for your support bye bye